Welcome Aquarius. We are going to be looking at what it is that uh, your soul would like you to know. Okay, we'll be using the inquiry cards from Work Your Light Oracle and the mystical reading cards as well as the Osho Zen Tarot. All right, so Aquarius, let's get into it, shall we? One card for Aquarius, please. One card for Aquarius. Don't feel like that was right. I feel like that fell out. It's meant to come out at will. There we go. Here we go. That was better, better. Okay. This card here says, don't dim to fit in, Aquarius. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Look at that. Some of you don't want to be seen. Some of you don't want to be seen. You just want to blend into the background and hope that no one notices you. But I feel like that is not what you are here to do. At least that's not what your soul wants you to do. There's something about this third eye here as well. Don't dim to fit in. Tell me more about this. Three cards for Aquarius, please. But don't dim to fit in. Thing is, here's the thing, Aquarius, is that I feel like some of you are um, trying to dim yourself but you also want to be seen and you want to be heard and so there's a bit of a conflict here I feel for some of you at least anyway okay so reverse disassociation so this is this feels like you're not really participating in your life in a sense you know this is kind of going through the motions, but not really actually living, living the, um, living your life purposefully, living your life intentionally. Because this person here, they have a key, and there's the keyhole, but the worlds are separate, and it's it's sort of like that. It's sort of like you're living in a separate world to everybody else. It's like you're just existing without purpose but you have such a massive purpose do you believe you're worthy of that this is the question right let's have a look what is going on here Aquarius Letting go, letting go of the things that are not serving you, letting you walking away from the things that um, that don't work for you anymore. And I feel like some of you actually know that that's the case, that it's required here. I feel like some of you are maybe in an environment where you are required to dim your light because that's what you're told to do. Or maybe that's how you were brought up, you know. Maybe there's this sense of not being able to be yourself, yeah? And so what's happening is you're having to squash the truth within you to suit everyone around you. But that's not what you were born to do. You're a freaking Aquarius, for goodness sakes. Right? Remember who you are. Remember who you are and don't let anyone squash you down. Okay, you're not here to be preserved, you're here to rise up because that's what you deserve. What's this card? Fighting, fighting the fall, fighting, trying to protect yourself from the fall here, right. 
putting your armor on, ready to go into battle, hoping, hoping that you'll be protected from everything crumbling around you. But when everything crumbles around you, even though it may not seem at the time, it can be the best thing for you. Because then, and only then, can you rebuild from scratch. Can you build a new foundation? Can you actually create what it is that you want to create? Because when there's nothing left, there's nothing to be lost. And although that crumbling may hurt, the rebuild is what is important. So it's important not to remain focused on the crumbling. Okay? It's important to become present in your life and let the new beginning take place. Let the rebirth take place. Allow yourself to rise up. Allow yourself to play your own unique tune. Because that's what you're here to do. And this is what everybody needs to hear. Okay? This is a new beginning of truth here. Okay? There's a lot of people potentially projecting onto you what that should be and what that should look like. Um, this could be in a relationship, or it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be any kind of relationship. It could be at work, at, at, with family, where there's lots of fighting going on. But really underneath it all, all everyone wants is to be loved and cared for and nurtured. Everything that you desire and you want, everyone else around you does too. But everyone kind of seems to be stuck in this, this energy of the roar, of the roar from the lion, rather than the music that can come out of that. Because the roar is deafening the, 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 the gentle melody that is there to be heard. Maybe this is you fighting, fighting the transition from happening. Whatever it is, Aquarius, something needs to change. And it's about becoming more conscious of what is going on, more conscious of what it is that you desire within your heart and your soul. Okay? This is about you being more conscious of becoming present so that you can fit the key into the correct keyhole so that you can open the door to walk through to allow this new beginning to take place. Because it's kind of like after the crumbling, the only thing left is the key. The only thing that didn't perish was the key. And the key is in your heart. The key is you. So it's about finding the place that you fit, that you feel at home, the people, surrounding yourself with the people that you feel at home with. Create boundaries, right? Especially to protect yourself from this kind of thing, okay, in the fighting as well. Create those boundaries so that you're not taking on other people's projections and be mindful of how you might be projecting onto other people. Really take the mask off and look at yourself and be honest with yourself here, Aquarius. Okay, see how it is that you're doing this projecting. I think that's the most important thing that you can do. Sure, everyone else might project onto you. Sitting in that and focusing on that is not necessarily going to help you. What's going to help you is focusing on the way that you project. Okay. This is what is important for your own growth. Because otherwise it's like the projections here are the lion and it's just sitting in the roar of the lion. Once you break through those projections, this beautiful melody can be played. Okay, so let's have a look at create boundaries. See what else this has to say. 
create boundaries. And also when you're when you're creating boundaries, what you're doing is you're allowing yourself the space to shine. You're allowing yourself the, the safety to rise up. And you're allowing your light to glow. eight cards come out okay we're going with that then we're going with that oh no that was seven sorry that was that other card there celebration celebrate this new beginning celebrate what it is that you have to look forward to celebrate what you feel passionate about there are people around you who have your back who are willing to lift you up who are willing to travel this journey with you and support you okay so it is about these people here um, who are going to come out and dance in the rain with you, who are going to come out and jump in the puddles and have that fun, who aren't going to um, stay, you know, project onto you and go, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. It's raining outside, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, they're going to, they're your people. They are your people, right? Um, so, yeah. These are the people that you want around you and it's important for you to create the boundaries um, with people who aren't as supportive towards you, okay, because that's going to hold you back and it's going to cause you to doubt yourself, okay. Um, so, yeah, so this here is the full here, this new beginning that is about to be had. Have faith. Take the leap of faith, okay. Some of you are... are um, are putting this off and it's like you want to walk the path but it's like <gasps> and then you get inside your head and go but what if this and what if that and blah 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 the fact of the matter is Aquarius that you have everything you need in order to take this journey in order to make this new beginning okay you just have to have faith and know that it is for your soul it is for your soul's journey and on any new journey you're starting with purity. You're starting with innocence. So walk into that. Embrace that. You know, sometimes the innocence can feel scary because we don't know what's going to come. But know this. This is what your soul requires. Okay? Every other journey you've taken in your life has got you to where you are now. Why would this be any different? healing become aware of the healing that it is that you need to do as you travel along this journey you can still travel along this journey don't make the healing an excuse not to partake in the in this new beginning okay because there's a vision there's this new there's this vision that you have a new vision something that can be created okay something that is inside of you of you that is ready to break out and break free and it's up to you to allow that to come out. It is absolutely necessary. And by creating boundaries with those who don't support you, by creating boundaries with your own mind and your own fears, right? You allow this new vision to take place. You allow the true you to be revealed from the shadow self. Okay, when you are healing, your shadow self is seen and heard and it will allow the true you out to play. Okay, and we have here, it's a yes, and I feel like this is you going forward carefree. You know, this is actually, look, at the mask is off here. The mask is off, just letting everything go. And letting the wind carry you in the direction that you want to go in. You know, actually trusting and having faith in the process here. Tell me more about it's a yes. See, and this is the number 17, which equates to 8 um, in numerology. And that is infinite. That's a lifetime. This is something that's going to last a lifetime and beyond. 
you're really paving the way here and um yeah man wow i've just gotten fizzing all over my body i, I absolutely love this for you absolutely love it whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on a minute that's far too many um yeah but this is you letting go Letting the tides of change carry you, Aquarius. Okay, so what have we got here? Holy macaroni. This is cool, man. Yep, see, look. Letting go of the stress of not knowing how to juggle everything. Just letting it go. Just going, surrendering, right? Just going, okay, I've just got to do this. I've got to do this. Go into the silence. Because look at the difference between the two cards here. Look at the difference in energy. Right, and this is what you can have. This is what is going to help you on this new beginning to take the leap of faith that you need to take. Okay, it's going to help you with the breakthrough. All right, you're going to be able to tap into this inner wisdom in order to lead the way. Okay, you think that you're traveling this journey alone, but you have this inner knowing. You have your higher self. Okay, your soul knows what to do. All right, when you go into the silence, you allow your soul to speak. You allow that to come out. And then there's no fear. There's no stress about it. Okay, because I, I feel like for some of you, and you heard about it too much, so, oh yeah, but what about this? And what if this? And you know, what do I need to do about that? And and what if this happens? And you know, psh, just quiet in the mind and allow it all to take place. Okay, go beyond the illusion. Go beyond the the illusion and allow yourself to expand. Allow yourself to transform out of the cocoon and into this beautiful butterfly. That just knows what to do. That's the whole process of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. It does what it's naturally meant to do. And this here is what you are naturally meant to do. So let it take place and don't stand in the way of that actually taking place here, okay? Go with the flow. Allow this new beginning to happen because this is absolutely incredible. And when you surrender and allow that to play, take place, you will, honestly, you will wonder why you waited for so long. Okay, so let's have a look at the <clears throat> book here. Don't dim to fit in. 48, where are we? Alrighty, Aquarius. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in. See, this is dimming your light, right? This is dimming your light. Yeah? This is dimming your light. Don't dim your light to accommodate someone else's smallness. We are all born to shine big and bright. The universe is expanding and you are part of the universe. So expanding is part of your nature. If someone makes you want to retract, notice and slowly back away. They are not for you and you are not for them. You see, that's about that creating the boundaries, right? Create those boundaries when you feel that, okay? Better yet, find it within yourself to expand and shine your light anyway. Flowers don't open and close according to who is walking by. They open and show their beauty regardless. Oh, I love that. If others don't want to be around you or make you feel or sorry or make them uncomfortable. If others don't want to be around you or you make them uncomfortable, it's because you are shining light on the fact that they are dimming to fit in. By choosing to shine bright, you may just inspire them to turn on their light too. Or not. 
keep your light on anyway. All relationships are essentially an energetic agreement. The moment one person decides to start rising up and allowing their light to shine, it changes the energetic agreement and can create some waves. That's completely normal. The relationships that are meant to last will adapt to the change in energy. Others won't because they were likely born under the proviso of I love you as long as you don't shine brighter than me. That's okay. Not all people are meant to be in your life forever. But the lessons they teach us can still live on. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Wow, that's a cool message. That is really cool. Yeah, there's something to ponder for you, Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.